but after it was getting dangerous because of the the drug dealers, you know, the, the cartels yeah. start like actually, you know, getting people, make those people like some slave. It was it was little crazy stories going on. So Mexican cartels will often force migrants to smuggle drugs across the borders. So you might leave your country a honest citizen, but you arrive to America as a criminal. According to the DEA, agents are already starting to see a small rise in cases of migrants being enlisted to carry drugs like these across the border. And they actually tried to force Glover to do it. But they're like, hey, my, hey, amigo, you bring this bag for us, like, you know, nice and simple. And you, I say, no, I, uh, I have my bag. I'm paying $9,000 to cross this thing, man. I need to carry stuff for you. I don't know what it was. It could be drugs, though. You know, that's what I, I, that's why I didn't take. I say, I'm not taking it. So finally comes the time to cross to the U.S. The most common access points are Rio Grande Valley, Del Rio, El Paso, Tucson, and Yuma. Glover crossed to San Diego from Tijuana. How did you cross the border? Did you uh, walking, yeah. Wow. Walking. How long did that take? Uh, maybe five hours, four or five hours. Jeez. I stayed in Tijuana for eight days, waiting for the fog to come so the helicopter and immigration people wouldn't see us. So they come down one night and they say, let's go. Everyone goes together. Yeah, everybody go. How do you know if there's border patrol around here? The people watching, they let me know. So there's people watching us right now? Yes. It was like a swamp, you know? We gotta run, we gotta swim. What we gotta do here, you know? One in 30 people. A mom pushing the kids, you know? I heard a couple people die crossing the, the river, you know? It's tough, you know. So it's it's like uh, you were recommended for no one, you know. It's a risk of life. Or... Reality is like you can try a different way, you know. It's actually once you cross to San Diego that Glover faced the scariest moment. They say we're not gonna let you guys out. His guide owed money to the coyotes, so they decided to take all the migrants hostage. It lasted 12 days. We thought we were going back, you know, to Brazil. 43 days after he left his home, Glover arrives in Connecticut. Of all places, why Danbury? Over here, they have a lot of landscaping. There is more opportunity the way I come from. I was like, oh my God, this country, I can be a professional athlete. You know, I can be a boxer. The next day, I was already in the gym lifting weight. I was just lifting. My first job was $7 an hour, landscaping was $7 an hour. I was like, this is amazing. Glover meets his future wife. Ingrid. When I met him, I said, what do you do? And he said, I take trees down in his broken English. So that was cute. I got married. When you casou with her, you didn't manage to enter the green card there? No, because when I entered illegal. He makes friends, and one of them shows him a tape of UFC 1. Royce Grace tape beating the first UFC. I fell in love with it. And next day, I sign up in the gym. Wow. I want to find jiu-jitsu school because I want to be UFC champion. He came in the gym, he was like, I want to train for the UFC. He was landscaping during the day, and then he would train at night. Like, every day. He's just the most disciplined person I've ever met. All he want to do is fight. That's all he liked to do. And I said, you know what? I said, you stay humble, fight, your opportunity will come to you. And sure enough, although he loses his first pro fight, his performance catches the eye of John Hackleman and a certain UFC legend. I love the way Glover was so tough. You say you could train me. John and Chuck asked Glover to move to California to train with them. I said, that's an opportunity in a lifetime for you. Go, please go. You're training with one of the best in the world. Ingrid quits her job and follows Glover. And I was going to do anything I could to support him. He wanted to train with Chuck Liddell. Train with Chuck Liddell. 
when he was the champ of the world. Chuck and Glover were inseparable, you know, training partners. If it's possible, I think he might like fighting more than I do. I train with the best coach in the world, John Hackema. And soon enough, Glover starts realizing his mistake. I knew I made the mistake, you know, I was like, damn it, man, now all this opportunity to be a professional athlete and I come because up Because you had come illegally. Illegally. So, you know? And he's right to be worried because his past is about to catch up. But before we get there, if you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Rocky, Rocky, you know. Listen, uh, I don't know what to say because I ain't never talked to no door before, you know. What are you doing inside my house? I know you ain't too happy at this moment, you know. Listen, I'm just trying to edit this video. Please leave. Oh, could you do me a favor? You know, I ain't got nobody to spend Thanksgiving with, you know. In January, in Canada. How about maybe you and I, maybe we we'll go out together get something to eat, I don't know, maybe laugh a little bit, who knows, you know? Would you like to, uh... This video is sponsored by Price Picks. Price Picks is the best legal way to play player props in the US and Canada. You pick two to five fighters, look at their projections, and simply choose more or less. Price Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including significant strikes, fight time, and takedowns. It's incredibly easy to play. So what? What's wrong, damn it? I'm afraid! All right? You can win up to 10x on any entry, for real. Nothing is real if you don't believe in who you are! What the what are you talking about? I don't believe in myself no more, don't you understand? It's just you versus the projected numbers. You wanna know the truth? The truth is I don't wanna lose what I got. Then just click the link in the description and use the promo code GAVIA when you sign up. Price Picks will match your deposit instantly, up to $100. A big thank you to Price Picks for sponsoring this video now. Back to it. It doesn't take long for Glover to catch the attention of the most powerful man in MMA. I remember Dana White was there 2007 Watch me fighting Sukuju. Glover's biggest fight to date. That was his last door he had to open to get in. And I knocked him out. I knocked Sukuju out in the first round. And we were sure he was in the UFC now. Then we heard the news. I shake Dana White's hand after Sukuju fight in 2006, and he said, get, you, get your situation figured out, and we sign you right away, man. I believe in, in people coming to this country fr from other countries, but doing it the right way. Yeah. You go through immigration, you get in here, and, right. and, and these people get to realize the American dream. Because you didn't have a proper visa, right? Yes, because I come here illegally, so... So, yeah, that was the big problem. You had to go back to Brazil, and yeah. it was always told to us that it was visa issues. That was the reason for the Brazil problem. Those who enter the U.S. illegally cannot apply for a green card inside the U.S. They can leave the U.S. and apply for a green card abroad. But for that, you have to go to your country on your own terms. You know, we thought we had a pretty good chance. We had letters from Chuck, we had letters from friends, we had letters from the UFC. Then I went an interview, and that's when we got, got denied. This commission in good conscience, cannot recommend you for a license, and we therefore deny your application. Shit. Now I gotta... What you do now? Didn't I do what you asked? Yes, you did. So I should get a license, right? Not exactly. 